Engaging with your company, engaging with your products, engaging with the community creates that stickiness, that loyalty, which hopefully will generate more sales and more profitability. One of the growth vectors that companies focus on is creating better customer experiences. Uh, one of the ways to do that is enable self-service, uh, which implies many times having a customer portal. Uh, so why should companies either create their own customer portal or improve what they already have? So I think you said it, it's all about creating the best customer experience. And you want to provide the opportunity for your customers to engage with your company in the channel they prefer. And although there's still a lot of people out there that prefer to pick up the phone and call one of your customer service agents, there's a growing uh, amount of your customers that would just prefer to log in digitally via a portal and self-serve. Well, you're totally right about definitely a growing market segment that prefers self-service, even though it's kind of a generation thing. Uh, and on top of that, the more self-service you're able to dispatch, the more efficient your operations get. So it, it's a win-win on both the customer side and the business side. Um, so if somebody is about to create their portal, uh, let's say if Ford is familiar with the Salesforce platform, so Salesforce has a best-in-class uh, portal builder, which is called Experience Cloud. What would be the core features uh, and best practices that uh, should be the first to be put in place when you're thinking about a customer portal or the typical customer portal? The typical uh, features of a good self-service customer portal uh, first thing is allowing your customers to submit cases, um, allowing them to maybe consult your knowledge base and maybe answer their own questions before they submit their cases. Maybe they want to consult uh, the status of a case. They want to see past cases that they've submitted. So case management is definitely a, a key piece. Other stuff, very, very simple allowing your customers to consult past invoices, uh, consulting what is the status of my order? Uh, what is the status of the shipping of my order? So providing visibility over these things to your, your customers is uh, uh, something that uh, most companies should be providing and, and customers expect. Then it's all around engagement. Do you wanna allow your um, customers to engage within each other in a forum? or engage with your employees, exchange ideas. So forums and engagement is a, another very, very popular theme. Another very popular theme is product training. Do we wanna give advanced product training to our customers? And maybe that training shouldn't be on your public website. It needs to be behind your secure portal. And finally, let's not forget purchases. Maybe a customer logs into the Salesforce portal and realizes, oh wow, there's a new accessory for my product. There's a new add-on. Or I wanna add, I wanna order more of these products. So just um, providing your customers to purchase more right from the Salesforce portal is also uh, a great add-on to, uh, to your business. Another element that's worth mentioning is if you're using Experience Cloud from Salesforce, that is integrated with your CRM. So you can actually expose any piece of customer information that needs to be viewed by your customer, right, is coming directly from your CRM. So there's no integration edit there. But as well, everything else that you've integrated with your Salesforce CRM can also be shown to add a value to your customer relationship. Uh, what are the typical integrations that you can leverage? Uh, something integrated to your CRM that gives value that you can expose to your customer in your portal? Yeah, well, so two aspects. The first thing about a portal versus a website is a portal has dynamic content. You need to provide your customers with content that is specific to them. That's the definition of the self-service portal, right? And you're right, in Salesforce, that data is already residing in the same database that's powering Experience Cloud, which is uh, the engine uh, powering your portal. What are some of the other integrations? you can integrate to your accounting system so that they can access past invoices. They can, you can integrate to payment providers so they can pay for their purchases. 
There's so many other things that you can integrate to provide even more richness. Maybe another quick example is an, an LMS. Maybe you already have an LMS in place and you can connect this to your self-service portal to provide that uh, rich uh, product training to your customers. Right, and something I would add is when you talk about portals or tools or systems, people have a way to frame them uh, from a technical standpoint. But don't forget that here you're creating an experience. So if you've put a lot of care into the navigation and experience on your website and on your mobile app, if as a company you have one or many mobile apps, you should put the same uh, care about the navigation and experience into your customer portal. Uh, because your customers need to find what they're looking for quickly and that will create stickiness so they can come back again and again because they know if I go to that place, I'll find what I'm looking for. So you, when you start that kind of project, you want to see it as an experience more than a tool or system. Uh, and so let's say people put in place the best practices. What are the results they should expect in terms of the relationship with their customers? Yeah, it's all about customer engagement. You want to create more loyalty and stickiness with your customer base. So having them come back regularly on your self-service portal, engaging with your company, engaging with your products, engaging with the community, creates that stickiness, that loyalty, which hopefully will generate more sales and more profitability. Yeah, and if I can add to that, uh, if self-service enables them to get what they want faster, and it's easy on your operations as well, you actually get business velocity. Uh, if the experience is good, that's a differentiation. So you're different from your competition if you have a better experience than your competition. And so that, that would add to the stickiness. And it allows you to scale your business. So you're basically serving more and more customers with your digital platform and with your self-service. So you're being much more efficient without incurring too many costs.